What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nailing, and we are back with another YouTube video, another wig video. I'm gonna switch it up soon, but yeah, we're just gonna do this for now. So today, I'm gonna be reviewing an Amazon wig and also this um, lace glue that I found on Amazon that I heard is really good. Like, it's waterproof, sweatproof, fightproof, bulletproof, all that. Feel me? So this is what the wig looked like fresh out of the box. I did not like those straggly ends. Like, I'm not gonna lie, she did not make a good first impression, okay? Like, I was not feeling her. But anyways, I went in and attempted to bleach the knots. That's what I was showing you guys. I don't really know how to bleach hair, so, you know, I've only bleached knots like two to three times. When it doesn't go well, I really can't even say I'm blaming it on the wig because I genuinely just don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, y'all gonna sit here and watch me struggle to open up this glue because I didn't realize you literally just twist it off. My dumb self thought that you just pull it off and that's that. Um, also, ignore all the stuff on my bed. I literally was leaving to Jamaica the next day and I had to go to the city. And I'm just a very last minute person. So at this point when I'm filming this video, I literally was up for 24 hours. I had just finished a 12 hour shift at the hospital. And yeah, anyway, so about this glue, it has a precision tip and then a silicone tip. So right now what you see me using is a silicone tip. Think of it as kind of like um, a spatula, kind of. It's literally made so that you could like glide the glue across your hairline without having, you know, to use your comb or your finger or, you know, some other accessory to do it for you. And y'all, let me just tell y'all something about this, okay? Because I did this um, install like three months ago, so I can just give y'all the whole tea about the wig, the glue, everything. I love this glue. Ever since I brought this, I've used this glue religiously. My wig was perfectly fine the whole time I was in Jamaica. Like, literally, I was sweating. It was fine. I would wet my hair all the time because it's like, you know, wet and wavy hair. The frontal was fine. I literally went cliff diving, like cliff jumping, you know, when you jump off the edge of the rock into the ocean, and it was fine. And so, yeah, the more layers that you put on, the stronger the hold is. So, I think I put on like three to four layers. I don't put on too much because, you know, I don't have that big of a forehead, so the glue be kind of having to go on my hairline, which is also why sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time with retention with my wigs because it's on my hair and not like my actual skin. But either way, this has to literally be the best glue I've ever used. It will be linked down below if you guys want it. I definitely recommend it. But yeah, so that's just me putting the wig on. Y'all already know what I do. Put the elastic band on. As far as this hair, I'm going to just talk about the hair while y'all watch the install or whatever. Everything that I'm using will be linked down below on my Amazon storefront. The wig will be linked down below. Everything will just be down below, okay? But anyways, so this wig... I don't remember the dimensions of it. I'm pretty sure. I think it was like 150% density. And normally that's like low for me. I don't like that. And so when I wet this wig, you'll see later on, the wig kind of looks a little, a little skim when it's wet. But I actually, it turned out that I actually like liked it that way. Like if it was like straight here, then I wouldn't like it. Cause I would have been like, all right. But the wet hair, when it's wet and it's not so thick and on my neck, it turns out I actually like really liked it. And then when it dries, it dries nice and fluffy and beautiful. And I just really love it. I was not expecting to love this wig because like I said, she did not make a good first impression. I was very upset. I was just like, you know what? There's nothing I can do now. I should have brought it back up wig. But it turned out I actually loved her. She was so good to me in Jamaica. Um, any issues I had with her were like from me like I feel like I should have plucked her more but like I said I was already up for 24 hours I did everything last freaking minute um but yes yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all watch the install right now I'm just cutting the lace into multiple parts normally I don't do this normally I just use my um eyebrow razor and just cut the lace all at once but this was for my birthday so I needed the install to give you know so yeah Okay, so back to this glue. I was showing you guys that it says precision tip because it's it's double-ended. So it's the silicone tip and the precision tip. So the precision tip is like 
a smaller nozzle as you can see it's like to go back and fix like the little pieces that you probably just didn't put enough glue on your skin for like you didn't put it far enough up also if you hear that noise in my background it's the ac i'm sorry please ignore it but yeah like i was saying i really love this glue i love the fact that it has the precision tip because it's like i'm so tired of using god to be or using another type of glue and i literally get all over my fingers or all over my rat tail comb and you know if you're using a strong glue it don't come off the comb like once it's on it it's on it once it's on your fingers everything is just stuck all over the place no with this glue having two different sides like it just made everything so much easier and it dries so fast like and you know when it's dry because it is like most glues it goes on white and then it dries clear and it was literally so strong like literally i love this glue so now i'm just going in and i'm pulling out some of my baby hairs and this is when I realized, like, I probably should have plucked it more because it's, like, once I finished with my baby hairs, I realized that the hairline still looked kind of, like, thick. Like, it didn't look bad. It still looked good. But I want to be able to, like, wear a hairstyle without baby hairs. And as you can see with this wig, like, I couldn't do it because I didn't pluck it enough. So that's not really the wig's fault. That's my fault. But it was just a thought. Like, that's how I know when I didn't pluck enough. Like, if I can't wear it without the baby hairs, then it needs to be plucked more. And as you can see, you can still kind of see it knots a little bit. But like I said, I'm not going to blame that on the wig only because I really don't be knowing what I'm doing. So I can't really say if it's the wig's fault or not. Like, I can't really say if the knots didn't pluck. I mean, if the knots didn't bleach because of me or because it's just not a good wig. I don't know. Um, but yeah, personally, it didn't bother me too much. I mean, they did lighten up a little bit. And then the rest, I just went in with um, some foundation powder and some concealer to cover it up on the hairline, like around the edges. So it really didn't bother me that much. As long as I'm not walking around looking like I got a baby doll scalp, I don't really care.
okay guys i know this whole video has been a voiceover but i didn't want to do a voiceover for the end because i don't know sometimes i don't be recording enough and then i still be talking <laughs> um i try to bleach the knot some of it did take some of it didn't so i just put concealer down the part and towards the front this is what the sides are looking like i feel like i plucked it decently i didn't go too crazy with the plucking because i feel like the wig is a little bit on the thin side like when i brought it it didn't really have an option for like 130 180 230 you know density so but the hair is really soft um i don't think that it's shedding a lot i did cut the lace i did pluck it and so there is a quite a bit of hair that came out so i don't know if it's shedding or if that's just left over here but i don't honestly don't think that it's shedding um yeah, I think it's really nice. I just feel like it's a little bit more on the thin side. And for 28 inches, it's just not as long as, like, I expected it to be. I expected it to be a little longer. Or maybe it's just hard to tell because it's, like I said, on the thinner side. But, however, I do like it. Like, even though it's on the thinner side, it's not, like, dramatically thin where it's like, oh, my God, girl, where's the rest of your wig? It is, like, a comfortable of thin. Like, say if you're somebody who doesn't like thick hair on your neck and just a whole bunch of hair, then I definitely recommend this wig. Um, like I said, I'm going to Jamaica, so look in the bio. Like, by the time I post this, I'll probably be on comeback from Jamaica, to be honest. But just check in the description box, and if the update is there, you'll see the update on the wig, and you will see the update on this glue. As of right now, I absolutely love this glue. Like, I like that it has a precision tip and a silicone tip, like an applicator tip, because it is such a strong glue that it will get everywhere. Like, you see, if you use Ghost Bond, it just gets everywhere because it only has that one little nozzle. This is, like, I, I really like this. I'm not going to lie. And it also came with a remover. So I'm going to be testing if this is waterproof in Jamaica and I'm going to be seeing how many times I have to touch it up and if it's useful and how the remover works. And this wig and this will be linked down below. So check it out. This was really cheap. The wig, is it worth the money? I don't know. I'll let y'all know. It depends on how it holds up. If it holds up good, then I'll say that it's worth the money. If it doesn't hold up good, then I'll say that it is not worth the money. Like if you're not going to hold up good, at least be thick, you know? But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to comment down below. Make sure to check out the stuff listed down below. Also, shop my Amazon storefront. I have a whole bunch of wig stuff up there from glues to wigs to hot combs, flat irons, everything. And I also have a jewelry collection on my Amazon storefront. So make sure you guys shop that as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Wish me a happy birthday in the comments. My birthday is January 9th. This video is probably posted way after that. But still, wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> Bye, you guys.